Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, as you can see on your screen, my last game I did fall short, got the loss unfortunately. Really close game, but uh, I just couldn't clutch up in the end of the game on defense and I did lose by a field goal. But it was a fun game overall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. And this one is going to be another fairly close game. And this one actually is going to be against the most ridiculous team that I have ever seen in Madden. And I don't just mean this year of Madden, and I don't just mean PlayStation 4. Maybe there's somebody out there that has a better team than this, but honestly, I can't even think how you would have built a better team than this. Take a look at this lineup. Golden Ticket Vic, Golden Ticket Bo Jackson, regular Bo Jackson, Bruce Miller positional hero. And then he's got like three Calvin Johnsons, including the 24 hour and the Golden Ticket. The best offensive line you can build. Ultimate Legend Gronk, the 24 hour edition. Uh, just Golden Ticket Watt. It's it's literally the most ridiculous team I've ever seen. Ray Lewis, Khalil Mack, Golden Ticket Dion, Golden Ticket. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Charles Woodson, Golden Ticket. Uh, Calvin at free safety, Golden Ticket, Taylor Mays at strong safety. So yeah, needless to say, this team is absolutely in freaking sane. I've never seen a team like this. I actually later found out after this game that my opponent's actually a subscriber to the channel, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but man, like I said, I've never seen a lineup anywhere near this good. After the game, I actually calculated it just because I was so astonished to see it. 33 million coins is what Mutt had estimated it at. 33 million guys that is ridiculous do you realize how many coins that is like i have no words for how many packs he must have opened to try and get that team that it's just ridiculous so yeah anyways uh we'll get back get into the gameplay commentary here as on third and seven brady is gonna overthrow ditka and we end up taking the field goal this is a really long field goal i barely made it 54 yards i think was the number so uh barely made that thing but I did get it in, so I, I was happy about that. Now, look at Bo Jackson here. Just a tank throughout this game, guys. Uh, obviously, as you could imagine, golden ticket, Bo Jackson. Probably, well, you could make the case he's the best player in the entire game. So, uh, yeah, it was very, very difficult to try and stop him. Even when you get your hands on him, he's still going to usually break at least one tackle. So, it's just so hard to defend that, you know. But look at Vic here. He's going to fire down the field into double coverage here. And, oh, he swatted away there. Barely swatted that thing away with Eric. Weddle. I was pretty happy to, to get that swat away. But look at Bo Jackson here. Look at this animation that he gets. I don't know if anybody else is getting that kind of an animation. I, he didn't even get any extra yards there, but it was just so ridiculous to see that kind of an animation. As uh, we bring the heat there off the edge on third and two and force him to take a field goal here on fourth and two. Pretty happy about that, holding him to three on the first drive. So we are tied going into the second quarter here. Now, Marshawn Lynch. Tough game in this one. I, I really wasn't able to run the ball very effectively, at least not in the first half here. But I'm trying my best here to just get the ball and gain short yardage here on third and seven. Did decide to go for it here on fourth and three. Thought I had him there, but Alshon came back for the ball for some reason. It ended up getting tackled about a yard short. So we did give up the ball here at about the 30 yard line, unfortunately, and Vic is going to take off here. I don't know how he didn't fumble. I guess it's, that's what you get when you have golden ticket Vic. He just isn't even going to fumble. Uh, and look at Calvin Johnson there. He just fires that thing into coverage. Um, you know, it's very, very difficult to defend this type of an offense. Like I said, guys, it's because it's just a superstar everywhere. Typically, somebody is going to have at least one weakness on their team, you know, whether it be their receivers, their running back, their quarterback, something like that. So you don't really have to worry about everything. I had to worry about literally every player on the field. Even when his players were tired, I had to worry about it. As you see there, we miss a pass to uh, to Alshon Jeffrey down the field. I tried to get the catching animation there, and it just didn't work, which meant that my opponent ended up being able to get this field goal here. Another long-ass field goal right before the end of the half. So he did go into the half up 13-3. to Ugh, damn, I'm not playing well after this, guys. But look at this. We finally get some heat on Vic there. Get the sack. That's Taylor Mays. I think that's his second sack. And then the very next play, we get another sack here. That time, Chris Harris Jr. So he did have to punt there on a fourth and long. So we stopped him on at least one drive, guys. Going to try and go back to the run here with Marshawn Lynch. Picking up a decent yardage here. Nothing huge, but at least decent yardage. Oh, and Brady misses into a wide open pass to Alshon. It's almost one of those things where in real life where you just don't have a good connection with a receiver in a game. And that's what I felt like this whole game with Brady and Gronk or uh, Brady and Alshon. And, and right there, as you see, I tried to run a halfback dive. He hit me before my quarterback could hand the ball off. 
So yeah, <laughs> that sucked. But we do end up with another field goal. So we're only down one score here. And my opponent had a receiver wide open underneath, but he tried to go deep to golden ticket. Calvin Johnson did not come up with the catch. It was Patrick Peterson saying, gotcha, bitch. Gets the interception. A massive, massive pick there. We have an opportunity to potentially tie this football game on this drive. 37 seconds left in the half after that play. And oh, we miss the screen pass to Marshawn. Could have easily been a first down if he would just turn around and put his hands up. I don't know what the deal is with the animation on screen passes in this game, but I don't know. My, my guys just do not seem to catch it. As you see him pass it in there again to Golden Ticket Calvin. He loved going to Calvin Johnson for sure, and hard to blame him. But right there, he went off his back foot for some reason, tried to throw it across his body with Vic, and we do get another interception. A poor, poor throw there by Vic, and that'll happen to just about anybody if you try to throw on the run off your back foot in this game. Whoop! Marshawn Lynch into the end zone. That was delicious. And we do score another touchdown, or our first touchdown, I should say, and we take the lead in this one. 16 to 13, guys. Three minutes and 10 seconds left here. We just have to play some defense. We have to play some defense. We've struggled on defense in this one so far a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty well here. Fourth and seven. This is a huge conversion for my oh, opponent. Okay. Oh, and we knock it away. Eric Weddle hits golden ticket Calvin and he drops the football. Oh my gosh, we got completely lucky there. Can't even deny it. Trying to run this game out now with Marshawn Lynch. A minute 26 left on the clock. He does have timeouts left, so we are going to have to try and put some more points on the board here before the end of the game. We're running out as much clock as we can. End up taking a field goal here with about 37 seconds left on the clock now for my opponent to drive down the field. A beautiful pass here to Golden Ticket Calvin, and again, he drops it. Patrick Peterson making unbelievable plays in this one, and oh, just as I say that, he is going to allow a bad pass there. Tried to, to click in and uh, do the catch animation but for some reason he just stood there and didn't actually go for the ball it's the second time this game where that's happened but unfortunately we do allow a big first down on that play now zero seconds left he is going to heave this thing up we've got three defenders here oh my gosh he got his hands on it but we still knocked it away in the end holy crap mike ditka is not happy about that one you can tell but we are going to be able to walk away with the victory in this one, guys. A six-point win against the best team I have ever seen in this game. My opponent did not play bad in this one. He got really screwed on a couple of those passes, uh, in my personal opinion, where he should have caught them. But that's just the name of the game in EA this year, man, on Madden. It's like, if you just... If you just go in there and you try and play smart football, for some reason, the game just does not want you to win. There's always some BS thing that happens where your players, your golden ticket Calvin Johnson drops numerous passes in a game. So uh, it happens, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. I really enjoyed this one because I beat a team that was really good overall, but I hope you guys did. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.